So a lot of people don't know this about me, but I, I do recovery for crime scene investigations and shooting scenes for the state police and the local police and the sheriffs. And I can't show you guys those videos um, because they're investigations, right? I can't release information about ongoing investigations. Um, and a lot of, some of the uh, enforcement agencies will, will not let me make videos when I'm recovering fragments of bullets or bullets or weapons and whatnot. And it's highly technical when I go out there and I am recovering fragments of bullets that I cannot disturb the crime scene and I cannot really ask a lot of questions. Um, they, they have to give me information that's um, really sensitive and um, I can't really ask a lot about what happened during the crime or during the shooting. They just tell me which areas to hunt and I just go hunt, don't really ask any questions because I'm not, I'm not a law enforcement officer. I just recover, I just do recovery. And um, it's very technical. Um, when I find, I can tell you what it's like doing crime scene, uh, crime scene forensics, but I can't tell you about any investigations that, um, that I work on. But I can tell you how it goes. Um, when we go out and we hunt, they tell us where we can and we, where we can't go. And they tell us, um, of course, not to release any information about the investigation to anybody. Um, and especially not to make videos. Some, sometimes I can make videos and sometimes I can't. Most of the times I cannot make videos because they don't want any information to get released um, about the ongoing in investigation. And when I hunt for, um, when I'm recovering items or targets in the ground there, um, sometimes there's a lot of junk in the area and whenever I hit on a target, they turn on their camera and they are um, filming me with their camera. And when I hit on a, a target that I think is a bullet or I think that's something that has to do with the, the investigation, they come over and start filming, filming me. And when I extract the target out, I have to make sure that I'm not in the way of their camera and I have to document that target. Um, they have a bunch of tags. Um, they have different, a lot of times I'll be in an area and there'll be, there'll be 10 different t uh, tags um, on some other items that are in the ground that the other investigators are taking pictures of and whatnot, but I can't disturb them when they're in investigating those other targets that I just found. And sometimes I'm going for very small fragments of bullets because they want to know exactly where all the fragments went. Um, especially if there's a lot of bullet fragments around or if there's a lot of bullets or weapons around, I really can't disturb them during their investigation. And um, it's, it's a very slow process, right? I have to dig slow. I have to make sure I'm not in the way of their camera and I have to expose that target. And I can't disturb that target when it's in the ground there because they have to know exactly what angle that fragment or that bullet was at so they can do all their investigation um that on their side but when i'm in when i'm extracting the targets i have to be very precise and careful not to disturb the um the soil there too much because i could be walking on other bullet fragments that i haven't been able to hit on but i have to grid you know during those investigations i have to grid and stay in my line and be very um be very focused on where i'm stepping at and not to walk over my line too many times because I, you know you do skip targets um, um with all detectors you know dialing in the detectors and I've done a couple investigations with the Deus 2, and the Deus 2 really does find a really small, small target, especially in Goldfield program. The machine works really good in Goldfield program, but it also hits on deeper targets too. So um, now that the Deus 2 has that notching feature, I can just notch out all the junk and um, just go by tone and hit on the fragments because the small bolt fragments are still 
pretty evident um but i don't want to disturb the ground too much so you know it's a little bit of information about um what i do behind the scenes of my channel um i do crime scene investigations and i can't really show you guys any of that stuff um i just don't think it's right and they won't let me they really won't let me post any videos um or any information about it but just want to let you guys know that um I haven't, I haven't really been called in the last month um, on any investigations, but uh, I'll probably have some more in the future here, in the near future. And a lot of times those um, those investigations take, you know, a couple, two or three days of, you know, several hours, many hours um, of recovering the, the items in the ground there, different fragments and bullets and bullets and just all kinds of stuff. Um, I can't really tell you anything more about it, but I have a lot of fun doing it, and uh, sometimes, sometimes I'll be traveling. A lot of weird people out today, man. But I've been uploading videos today, um, just uploading videos. I think I'm going to get out here in about an hour, um, getting my batteries charged up for my GoPro camera, but it's about... Uh, nine or at ten thirty right now so i'm gonna head out here in a few minutes um wait for those videos to upload and get my batteries charged up for my gopro camera and then i'll get out today but um i will be uh using the deus 2 here very shortly it's not my machine that's malfunctioning it's just the hot soil well thank you for watching please subscribe